In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on using the video overlay feature in the screen recorder that comes bundled with PowerDirector version 365 or PowerDirector Ultimate. We're working with the current version of PowerDirector which features the slightly stripped down screen recorder version 4, which is an improvement over prior versions of PowerDirector. So how do you get to the screen recorder? Well, you click on the plugins menu at the very top and then from the drop down use screen recorder. When you do, it will minimize power director on your screen. And now I have the screen recorder control box in the lower left part of this video. What I want to do is change a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to record audio. If you want to select the audio source, you click on the down arrow to the right of the picture of the microphone. I'll be using the blue snowball, so I'm fine there. And then I need to arm it by simply clicking on it. I will see the blue circle with a check, and I can see it's tracking my audio. What I also want to do is control the application that I'd like to use. Normally I would use lock to app, but because I'm recording a recording, it doesn't work well, so I'm going to use the custom option where I simply take the mouse, go from one corner of my app to the other, and I'll use that as my recording area in this case. And then I'm going to use the video overlay. That's the box in the lower right. Now, when I click on the plus next to it, it will give me all the images I can use for an overlay. It also shows me my webcam. What I'm going to do is add an image. All you do is click on the plus icon. That will open up your screen and you can go to any place in your file system to choose it. I'll take this arrow, click on there and click on open. And now I have that as an object that I can use as a video overlay. This would be a great place to put a trademark or a symbol for your business, something like that. Now the problem I have is I don't know where the, the overlay is going to show up on my screen. So I'm going to drag this down a bit and we're going to look at the preview option which is the button in the upper right corner, the second one from the right. I click on there. It will give me a picture of the recording area that I've chosen. And notice what it did. It took my arrow and it put it in the lower right corner. Once I'm in the preview screen, I can move this arrow any place I want to in the recording screen. And I can also resize it. And I can control its opacity. I have to click back here on the video overlay screen. And now I can control the opacity of that video overlay. So if you want to make a watermark to put on your videos so people know that you or your organization created them, this is a very easy way to do it in PowerDirector. Let's add another one and I'll show you a bit of a complication. I'm going to take this gal and add her as an image and you notice you can have more than one overlay at the same time. What happens is the default is that the overlay is in the lower right corner. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit, this previous screen, so uh, you can see it all on the recording screen here. And I can take her and move her anywhere I want to in my preview screen. And if I don't want the arrow, I can just uncheck the eye image to the left of the arrow and it will go away and I will just have her as my overlay during the course of the recording. Let's assume that that's what I want for now. So I'm going to close the video overlay screen and now I have this activated. Now if I turn this off, no longer will it be active when I do the recording. The only way I know whether it's going to be active or not is whether this box is checked. Now notice what happened when I reactivated it. It activates everything it finds in the video overlay boxes. That's one thing I don't like about it. But So if you're going to activate it, you have to determine which of the images you want to use. I'll turn the arrow off again and then we'll simply close that. But now it's active and when I record the screen, it should use it. 
I'm going to close my preview window and then we'll do a little bit of recording here. So I'm going to start my recording and I will record this Excel screen and say if you want to total the number simply, simply go to your formulas, use your auto sum, and then to press enter and it automatically totals your numbers. We'll make this a very short recording. It also pops up in my uh, window the recording that I've done. I'm going to close that window. To see anything you've recorded, you simply click on the open library in the upper right corner. Now when you do that, you have an option of looking at what you've recorded. And this is the one we just did. So if I want to edit it, I can click on the pencil. That will put, take me back into PowerDirector. If I want to delete any of the things I've recorded, let's take this one here. I can just press the trash can. It will delete it. And confirm that it's deleted. If I double click on it, it puts me back into PowerDirector. And I can, I can click on this and then play it in my timeline. And I see what I'm doing and I see that it indeed did use the image as part of the recording. So that's how you can use that tool in CyberLink PowerDirector's screen recorder that's built into the Ultimate version or PowerDirector 365.